Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another mod showcase. My name is Leaf, otherwise known as Leaf Productions. And thank you guys so much once again for stopping by and checking out what we have in store this week. So we took a little bit of a break, about like, you know, a week and a half, and we actually have found 21 new animals to cover today, and that is insane. I am so, like, I'm blown away by how fast this community is putting out animals already. And it's so amazing. And in fact, to celebrate the little occasion, I decided to upgrade our little bit of showcase and make it a little bit more of a zoo, you know? Nothing too crazy, but we can just jump right into it. And what better place to start than the beginning? So I'm actually going to pause right now because I think one of our animals did crash my game. So, while having offspring. So, we will see... Uh, I think it might be the Arabian Oryx, which probably isn't a good thing on my end. It's not the Oryx, so that's good. It might be the Jackal. I'm not even sure, but you know what? Let's not worry about that. Let's just jump into our first friends over here. So we have both Triceratops. Yeah. So we have the Triceratops here, and this was made by TNT Games. And oh my god, these guys are beautiful. I love them. So it was about time we start to get more paleo mods in here, and our next one is actually going to be another paleo mod. But no, I love these guys. They're so beautiful, and their patterning on the baby is so cute. And yeah, of course the adults are absolutely massive. Like, I just, I can't wait for, like, more dinosaurs in here. I know a lot of people don't really like the dinosaurs, and like, you know, I, I kind of understand that. But, no, it's still awesome to have them in-game, because... I mean, look at this. How could you not like that, you know? But yeah, amazing work, TNT Games. If the only thing I have to complain about is, like, you know, the textures, I mean, the horns and, like, the skull, it looks kind of dilapidated, I guess, is the word I would use. But, um, no. Nah, we'll just carry on to another mod bay by you. And this is actually one of my favorite ones this week. This is the Mauritius Island Dodo, or Mauritius Grey Dodo. I'm not really sure. But they're beautiful. I love them. Oh my god. The dodo is easily one of my favorite extinct animals. And I'm so happy that you were able to get these in the game. Because oh my god. I love them. They're the derpiest little animals ever. I think it actually might be the jackal. So we're just going to move him to the trade center. Or move her to the trade center. Yeah. Just out of precaution. This is my second time uh, recording all this. So I just don't want to do it again. And look at here, we have the little baby. It's so cute, it's tiny. I love how, like, it's kind of green. And it looks kind of like bird poop. But I love it, because it's a Dota. Oh, <laughs> and I put the watermelons there, because, you know, Ice Age reference, why not? But yeah, amazing work, TNT Games. But we have a lot more to get through today. So over here, we have the Saula by Trumped. And this is actually a relatively newly discovered antelope. So I believe these guys are from, like, Indonesia-ish. Uh, wow, actually, Vietnam. That's pretty awesome. And Laos. So, yeah, they're beautiful. They have, like, such a unique-looking head. And if we can pause on one right here. I just love how their head kind of, like, curves up like that. And they have the beautiful horns like an oryx. Now, no, it's just such a unique, interesting animal. No, no, I'm really happy we have these in here. It's definitely like a uh, standout in terms of like, you know, the more unique animals. And of course, we're just going to jump into these really quick because I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen the Flamingo Pack video. Uh, we're just going to cover this really quick. Lester Flamingo skin and model by Jen. Chilean Flamingo skin and model by Nick. I coded the rest. And yeah, these guys are amazing. Here are just the babies. They all look the same. But yeah, here is the... Let me see if I got it right. This is the Andean. Yep, that's the Andean. And yeah, just relatively simple. They have very pink heads. Um, the American, of course, is my favorite one. It's beautiful. It's bright pink. And it's exactly that kind of flamingo. This is a James. It's one of the smallest. Apparently, the lesser is smaller than it. But, you know, I, I, I mess up from time to time. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, these guys are beautiful. They're like, they were my first mod. And I'm just really happy I got to go back and remaster it because, I don't know, it's just such an interesting looking little flamingo. It's one of my favorites. Here's a beautiful Chilean. It's pretty simple. It's literally just a pinker, greater flamingo with a uh, grayer beak. 
but it's still absolutely amazing. It's very common in Zeus, so I'm really happy we got that. And we're missing just one more. Where did it go? Uh, I think it just ran right by me. Did it? I don't know. It's relatively small. It should be kind of easy. Yep, right here. So this is a lesser flamingo. Easily the best looking flamingo in this pack is by Jen, obviously. Because when doesn't she put out good stuff? But, oh, what, what is happening with that head right now? Oh, that's not good. That's not even... We didn't even edit these models. That's a frontier issue. <laughs> but, um, yeah, these guys are beautiful. They have such, like... Their eyes are so striking. Oh, no, I love it. They're beautiful. I just love my little flamingo friends. They're amazing. And over here, we're gonna do, like, one big loop. And we have the Marco Polo sheet by Phonetic. And, oh, my God, when these came out, I was like... So taken back. I love how they look. Look at these massive horns. They are absolutely beautiful. These guys are found in, let me see, it's it's probably like the Himalayas, I want to say. Yeah, around like the Himalayas area, like northern India and stuff, maybe Pakistan. But yeah, these guys are absolutely striking. Look at the little baby. Isn't it cute? Like, it's always, I love the sheep and goat mods. They're so perfect. I don't know, they're just such wonderful animals to have in the game. And over here, we actually have an old port by Julio. And Narwhaler was able to get these beauties in the game. Here is the Spectacle Bear. Uh, the only bear from South America. I love how the coloring came out on the head. That is so good. Oh my god, amazing work. And of course, the adult over here. It's beautiful. It's large. It's chunky. It's everything you want in a bear. And I'm so happy we got them. Turn around over here. We have the African penguin, and yeah, just ignore the baby right there. We're just gonna look at our little African penguin buddy over here. And yeah, they're beautiful. We're gonna get them in Africa, maybe. I'm not really too sure. Uh, Frontier told us not to look too much into the details, but you know, it's fine. But yeah, these guys are beautiful. I just love how well they came out. All custom model, by the way. Nick did an amazing job with it. And yeah, I'm just so happy. They're like such an iconic zoo animal because you don't really get like king penguins and stuff in zoos. You got like the more simple like tiny penguins. So it's really awesome to have those in there. Now the Persian pig, he's been going pretty wild with like some more interesting animals. Here's a jaguar undi and this is like, it's related to the jaguar, I bet. It's like a, um, it's a relative to it from South America and it's like this beautiful black coat it's such a beautiful animal if we could actually pause it right here i do want to take like a better look at it yeah the only thing i have a problem with are the eyes but i'm sure those will be worked out in like a later patch like the rest of it looks beautiful the skin is amazing the body is amazing it's such an interesting animal like perfect for any like dark house or south american house amazing work now, over here, our boy Havoc has blessed us with the African Leopard. And yeah, these guys are pretty nice. Of course, he uh, added, like, the black version. Uh, I'm not really sure what you call this, because I'm not really into that big... Into too much big cats, you know? I don't really... I don't really get them, you know? But they're adorable. Look at this little baby. It's so cute. And, of course, we have the adults. This is more like a desert version. Or savanna version, I think he was saying. There's also like a jungle version that he said he's going to be working on, but amazing work nonetheless. I just love how like, I don't know, it's very striking. Amazing work, Havoc. And over here we have the Blackback Jackal by, and forgive me while I butcher this, Haru Kalachinos. Yeah, I'm not even going to try and redo that. I'm sorry. I'm just going to butcher it even more. But if we could find these little guys, I think they're hiding right now. I hear it. Yeah, there he is. But yeah, these guys, like, I get why people want a lot of canines, and this is, like, the perfect reason to show it. They're so diverse. And, like, this is nothing like any other one that we got before. And they're just so beautiful. I love, like, of course, it's called a Blackback Jackal, and I love their little back on it. It's so beautiful. Like, this is, a, this is an animal I want to build an exhibit for right away, because, I don't know, they just look so nice. Nothing like anything else we have in the game. Absolutely adorable. Amazing work. Insert your name 
Uh, over here, we have some staff area. Nothing to point out. And Miss Yos, you have remastered your coyote and it looks 10 times better. The cubs, I'm not really sure what to think of them because I don't really know what a coyote cub looks like. But if we can find our adult, and this is like the main problem with me decorating like all the exhibits and stuff. I can never find our little friends. But here he or she is. It's a he. Well, actually, why am I stuck? Oh, there we go. Alright, awesome. But yeah, these guys are stunning. They look ten times better. I'm so, like, it's so amazing how much of improvement this made. Originally, they used the Dole, but just using, like, the Timberwolf is so much better for this creature. It's beautiful. But yeah, let's not, let's not dally too much on that. We still have... Oh yeah, we're almost all the way through. And we're only, like, 12 minutes in, 11 minutes in. I'm not really too sure. But yeah... So here we have the Asiatic Lion, and of course it's hiding in the little corner right there. They're beautiful, oh my god, like, I know I'm like going crazy after all these mods, but you know, it's just so amazing to see how much good content the community is putting out. Here's a male, I just love Asiatic Lions because they look, I don't know, their manes look so much more relaxed, I guess you could say. And, I don't know, it's just such an awesome addition to have, like, I don't know, these are the real kings of the jungle. They're from, like, India and stuff like that. It's really cool, because whenever you think of lions, you always think of, like, oh yeah, Africa, why not? But no, they're actually in this small little park in India. And I don't know, it's just really awesome to have. I'm really happy that they're in the game. And there's a female, absolutely beautiful coat on there. Yeah, amazing work. Emisios, you never disappoint. Now, here we have all of our artiodactyls. I guess they're all artiodactyls, I'm pretty sure. There's a ton of stuff in here, so we're just going to address it right off the bat. Greater Kudu by Meruji. Amazing work. Impala by Phonetic. Phonetic's been making like a huge splash on the scene. I'm really happy to see that. Trumped, once again, has blessed us with the Northern Kudu. Dama Gazelle by Phonetic as well. And I pour it over J2's Alpine Ibex. Nope, yep, Alpine Goat and Arabian Oryx. So we're just going to jump right in here. And right off the bat, we see the Alpine Goat. It is beautiful. I love them. You guys have probably seen like the uh, Foxborough Zoo episode where I have these guys in the little petting zoo part. Definitely do check that out if you haven't already. I'm putting in a lot of work into that zoo and, and you know, I just know a lot of you guys watch this, so if you like this, go check that out, please! But yeah, here's a little baby for it. Also known as the kid. We just saw one jump right over and led us to our Dama Gazelle. Or Dama Gazelle, I'm not really too sure. But yeah, where are these guys from? I don't even know. I'm not really too big of an animal guy. Yeah, they're from like Sub-Saharan Africa. But wow. And of course, we have our first poop of the video. Amazing work. Great job, buddy. I'm really happy you were able to do that for us. But yeah, these guys are beautiful. They're skinny. They're skinny little gazelles, and I love them. I feel like if you hold one, they'll just break in your hands. But no, they're absolutely amazing. I can't wait to start making exhibits for them, too. Oh my god. And there's a little baby. Amazing work. <laughs> and here we have J2's. Arabian Oryx. It is beautiful. It's a lot more different than the uh, other Oryx. We can actually compare them. So there's the uh, Arabian Oryx right there and the Scimitar Horned Oryx as well as the Gemsbok. If I can type correctly. Yeah, so these guys are a little bit more gray. These guys are a lot more white and their like black markings kind of differ a little bit more. I really do prefer these guys a lot more though. I don't know. They seem a lot more cleaner. Who else have we not touched yet? Where are you? Are you an Impala? Yes, you are. So these guys are also another gazelle. And yeah, they're beautiful. They're bright orange. Where's the male? Oh yeah, there's a male just doing some Jesus work up there. That is... That's some amazing footwork you got going on right there. But no, these guys have such beautiful curved horns. And they're adorable too. Look at those beautiful little eyes. Oh no, it's just gazelles there. Oh, yep. Second poop. Woo! Amazing work. Amazing amazing work, guys. Great job. But, yeah, these guys are absolutely striking. I love them. And they're perfect for, like, all your larger savanna habitats. And speaking of that, 
The Greater Kudu by Mayorji makes another return. And oh my god, this took so long. I was following Mayor G for a lot of this process, but I'm so happy that she was finally able to put these out because they're amazing. I love them. They're like, I think these are the largest antelope in the world. I could be mistaken, but let's find the male because yeah, there he is. They're absolutely beautiful. I love them. Amazing work on that Mayor G. Like I cannot get over how amazing these are. And I think that might cover it all. Let me just double check because we have a lot in here. Alpine Goat, Dama. We have the Impala, Greater Kudu, Arabian Oryx. And Northern Pudu. We haven't seen that because it's so small. And you know what? I'm happy it's so small because... Oh my... We did it, boys. We did it. We got three poops in one. But yeah, I just love... Are you not done? Oh my god. Bro, get like a Tums or some shit. I don't know. But yeah, these guys are adorable. Look how tiny they are. I don't know. They're just like the perfect filler exhibit animal. And that's like, I love getting smaller animals in the game. I, I think Nick and I were like talking about this the other day. He was like, oh, I don't really get why so many people want smaller exhibits. And it's not really that feasible to make exhibits like that. I mean, even just the doors alone, they're kind of difficult to work with especially for smaller exhibits, but I don't know, just having these guys in the game, having them move around, have them explore even tiny exhibits is perfect, so I'm really happy we get these. But yeah, that pretty much covers... Bro, do you have any decency? Right on the path? That is disgusting. But yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We covered a lot today, 21 mods in fact, and I did miss a few things. Uh, I usually just prepare these beforehand and of course like people upload mods when I'm like recording this and uploading this But you know, we'll cover that in the next week, but I really do hope you guys enjoyed Let me know your favorite animal uh, Because you know, there's like I don't know. There's so many. I just love hearing what you guys have to think uh, I'm just gonna choose mine right now if I could find it. It's the poodle. It has to be the poodle. Look how tiny it is. It's adorable. I just want to hold it. I want to hold it like a little baby. I want to rock it to sleep. But yeah, um, if you guys are new here and you watched all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. It really does help me out. Uh, be sure to like the video. That would be awesome. Let's try and like, you know, work on those likes a little bit more. Comment your favorite animal. And I'll tell you what, here's a new challenge. Subscribe. Hit that big red button. I'd really appreciate it. But, um, yeah. New mod showcase next week. And hopefully we get, like, a ton of new animals in the game soon. And, yeah. I will see all of you guys there at that time. Thank you guys once again for watching. And I will see every single one of you in the next one. Take care. Ta-ta.